contests were every single weekend in California. I was a little bit amazed of how many contests there were. It was like this whole other level of surfing that I didn't know existed because it was seriousness. It wasn't like stoner beach life. I was ambitious enough to try something that I'd never done. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like when you go to school the first time and you're the new kid. <laughs> That's kind of how it felt in surf contest. It was just this mysterious person that no one knew anything about. A lot of pros would come to town every now and again and surf. On the left, into the pier, straight up the bottom, up the top. The competition would be on the south side. But now I would be out there just surfing because I would watch heats through the pier pilings while I was surfing. I was just trying to surf like them and then fall off and then be in the way. And then I'd have guys yell at me to get out of the way. <laughs> Tom Curran was a huge influence on my surfing. I used to watch tapes of him and, and just wear them out. It was like an obsessive thing, just because I wanted to surf as good as the guys. <laughs>